What's up everyone? Welcome to the last week of the effort program. This is your 45 minute full body finisher workout. Grab some dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome to your workout today. We're gonna go ahead and get you set up and jump right into the warm up so we can get you out of here to crush the day and the rest of your week. We've got 45 minutes of AMRAP work today, meaning I'm gonna give you four minute work periods, tell you what exercises to do in those work periods, eight or 10 reps depending on where we are in the workout. You're gonna do as many rounds of those two or three exercises in that four minute work block as you can. So today is truly all about putting in your level of your best effort for the time that we have together. Okay, grab your bench if you have one or something to do a split squat later on in the workout. It'll be a combo move and then your water and your sweat towel. For my weights, I'm gonna be using anywhere between 10 and my 25 pound dumbbells. Heavier weights will be for a chest press or a shoulder press or a bent row. Lighter weights will be a tricep kickback. Okay, eight to 10 reps of each exercise at a time. So kind of gauge or have a couple options right around you just so if you need to switch, it's right there for you, okay? So warm up time, let's go. Three, two, one, here we go. Step it out. We've got a really fun breakdown in each of our AMRAPs today. You've got either upper body and lower body, lower body and cardio, cardio and core. Lots of fun combos that'll keep you kind of mentally right here in the time that we have together. Additionally, if you run into this workout and all of a sudden, you know, 10 or 15 minutes left in the workout, you have to go. You can always come back and finish those last couple circuits. Just work as hard as you can in the time that you have. Heels to glutes. Good job. First half of the workout, we're gonna have three exercises per working block. Second half of the workout, we will have two exercises per working block. Nice wide stance, bend and straight. Get your mind right, it's gonna be a good day. We're kicking off the last week of this program and this is where you really kind of sprint to the finish, right? Show yourself how hard you've worked to feel good this week. Last one, good, come on back up. Hamstring, high kicks. That's it. One more each side, we've got about 90 seconds and we'll get started. Good, hands on your hips, down and open. Good, last one, take your chest down, reach to the floor and then drop your hips, squat position. That's it, five squats, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, pull heel to glute and switch. Good, arms right past your body. Great job. All right, so we're gonna get started in 30 seconds. Feel free to go wherever you need to, wrists and ankles, neck. I'm gonna show you the three exercises that we have. Goblet squats, shoulder press, squat jumps. Okay, so we're here for eight. Okay, then you grab your other dumbbell. Here for eight. Okay, then you drop both of them here for eight. Okay, that's it. Four minutes on the clock. We start in seven. Ready? Four, three, two, one. Goblet squats. You're looking for 38 on the clock. Eight reps here, eight shoulder press, eight squat jumps. I'll keep you updated on the time if you don't want to watch.
Loop it up, eight of everything, as many rounds as you can. First minute done, you're on to minute number two. Nice job. Anytime in your four minute work period, you need to grab water, grab it, keep going. Good, we're on to minute number three now. Minute two is over. Great job, you've got 90 seconds to go here. Breathe, breathe, come on, good reps. Your best effort here. We've been teaching ourselves all month how to show up, how to put in the effort. Last minute here, show yourself. Thirty seconds, come on. Good job, thirteen, twelve, finish strong right here. One, and you've got one minute to rest. Go ahead and grab some water. If you want to stay moving, jog in place. Next three exercises, pure strength. Bent rows, coming right here for eight. Lighter weights, back flies. Coming right here for eight. Last one, plank, knee to elbow. Same side, eight, seven, six. Okay, so four each side. So grab a bent row weight, and then grab a back fly weight, a heavier and a lighter option. I'm gonna use 20 for my rows, or start there, and then 10 for my flies. If it would help you, you can go down on the floor or on the bench and alternate, okay? Just to support your back a little bit. We'll go in 10. Four minutes on the clock again, let's go. Exhale, start with your eight rows, three, Two, one, come on. Good, for the flies, bent elbow. You can also go one arm at a time here. Looking for 33 on the clock if you're watching. We are 30 seconds into this one.
Good job. Minute number one, crushed. Let's go, minute two. Nice job, come on. Remember, with these back exercises, use the support of the ground or the bench if you need to, because I need you to stay in this hinged position. Good, minute number two is done. Let's go minute three right here. Good, just keep moving. Your best pace, your best effort. Nice work, stand up, breathe, engage your core. That's it, you got a minute 20 to go. That's it, last minute, 60 seconds, come on. Forty-five. I'm with you. Come on. Pure strength here on this one. Good, 15, come on, keep going. Don't quit, 12. Two, one, and one minute to rest. Beautiful job. Grab water, I'll show you circuit number three. Remember, we've got four circuits with three exercises like the ones we just did. All right, little cardio coming back into play. Single leg, alternating Romanian deadlifts. So two dumbbells in your hand, you're gonna take it back, either lifting or just staggering. Coming here, eight, seven, six. Nice flat back, engage, lats. Then you've got hammer curls right here, eight, seven, and then skater lunges. You're either hopping or you're stepping, and sit. Okay, 15 seconds, and we're going for it. If you're not sure, grab a couple dumbbell options just to have out for you. Here we go, single leg, alternating deadlifts. Two, one, come on. Eight total, so seven, six, five, four each leg, okay? Hammer curls, neutral grip. 30 seconds down. You're looking for 28 on the clock if you're watching. Good work. On your skater lunges, eight total, so four each way. 
Get low. First minute, done. Hammer curls, really make sure your elbows are staying close to your sides. So it's easy to kind of go here, keep them close. Minute two is done, here we go, minute three. I know this one, is a good long circuit, so stay with it. Ninety seconds. Last minute, right here. Crank it out. Strength and cardio in this one, so your heart rate's gonna go up. Take it back down with the strength work. Keep working hard no matter what exercise you're on. And breathe. There you go. Thirty seconds. Three, last rep, two, one, breathe. 60 seconds to rest. And we've got one more three exercise work block. Okay, we've got chest press, overhead tricep extension, and a weighted sit up. If you have a bench, you wanna pull it out for a chest press, grab it, okay? So, start off here with two dumbbells. Arms come right outside your ribs, not up around your shoulders, keep them here. Eight, okay, when you're done there, drop your dumbbells, grab one of them, come here for eight, overhead extension. Then, if you can, Weighted sit up, dumbbell's gonna be touching your chest. If you're not ready for the weighted sit up, just a body weight sit up, okay? If you're on the bench and your feet are on the ground, this will make it a bit harder, <sighs> okay? So go to where you're comfortable. If you're on the floor, same thing. Weight will make it harder, body weight, maybe you're more efficient that way. Eight reps of everything, let's go in four. Starting with your chest press, three, two, come on. Looking for 22 on the clock. And then we're in the second half of the workout.
One minute down. Let's go, minute two. Good job. You're in pretty much the same position the whole time. So transitions make them good. Ninety seconds down. And if you need help on that dumbbell hold, I always kind of make hands here and put the dumbbell in my thumb in that little gap and then just hold it right against my chest. Two minutes down, you're in minute three. Let's get it. seconds to go. seconds. Fifteen. and rest. You've got one minute to breathe and we're switching up the format to two exercises per four minute work period, 10 reps of each. Grab water, I'll show you what's next. All right, so some combos and some cardio in this first one. Okay, you've got a front squat and press and then mountain climbers. Dumbbells are gonna be right at your chest. Okay, so you're here, squat, Press for 10, then drop those off. 10 each leg, so one, one, two, two. If you need to dial that back a little, take it to an incline. We've got 20 seconds and we're going hard for the second half of this workout. I'm gonna start with my 15s and then just kinda see how it goes from there. If I feel like I can bump it up a little bit, I will. Same thing for you. Ready? Here we go, four minutes on the clock. Three, two, 10, squat and press, let's go. Great job. You're looking for 18 on the clock, by the way. Whew. And I'd rather you get low and full extension on these squat and presses than just fast and sloppy. Whew. 
One minute down. Great work. <laughs> I'm with you. This is a tough one. I promise after this one, you're going to like the next one. <sighs> a little strength and core for the next one. Okay, this one, a lot of breathing heavy, but we got this. We're in it together. Okay? <sighs> Come on. Breathe and move. Breathe and move. Good form over everything. All right, two minutes down, you're in minute three. In four, three. All right, second half of this one, let's get it. Nice work. Keep believing in yourself here. A minute and 20 seconds left in this one. Can you give me one more complete round from where you're at right now? I think you can. Come on, breathe deep and believe. seconds. Woo. Use your legs. Power out of the bottom. Fifteen. Three, two, one. Beautiful. One minute on the clock. Breathe. Walk around. Don't leave. You're with me. I'm with you, okay? Don't leave. We're slowing it down a bit. Catch your breath. You're doing fine. We're doing chest fly and jackknives on this one, okay? Chest fly. Open it up. Come to the top. When you come to the top, you're going to do a glute bridge for me. So that's your combo. Chest fly, glute bridge and jackknives. Let me show you. Feel free to use your bench if you would like. Okay, rounded arms. We're circling your chest. So we go here at the top, you bridge up. Open, bridge up. 10 of those, then dumbbells down. If you can, two legs. If you need to dial it back, one leg. Ready? Come on, let's go. Three, two, one. Rounded arms, squeeze the glutes. Ten reps of everything. Come on. And wherever you're at is perfect. That's exactly where you should be in terms of fitness level. If you start and give me two jackknives with both legs, then you drop to one, that's fine. You did two, be proud of that. Be proud of the fact that you kept going as well. Good, first minute is done. Yeah. 
Looking for 13 on the clock, by the way. 17, down to 13, four minutes. Good, you're breathing well, right? 90 seconds in. Minute three, let's rock. All right, here we go. Minute three is done. We're on to minute four, let's go. Two, one, final minute. Finish this one. Finish strong. The last 60 of all three of our remaining circuits, I'm gonna tell you to crank it up in the last minute. This is that time. Let's go, finisher. All right, last 30 seconds, come on. Turn it up a little more. <sighs> 10, nine. Go, 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 don't stop, six, five. Two, one, and breathe. Amazing job. You got a minute rest. Take it, breathe. Don't leave. Grab water, come on up. All right. 40 seconds, and we're gonna go sumo squat and bicep curl. So two dumbbells. You're coming down here, curl, okay? And I want you to open your palms up here instead of Neutral grip or hammer grip, supinated, okay? 10 of these. When you're done there, lateral slides. Okay, so you've got one, two. Every time you touch an end, that's one. 18 seconds and we're starting off. Sumo squat, bicep curl. Let's get it. Are you ready? Come on, you got this. <sighs> get set up and move stuff out of the way if you need to. All right, 10, two, one. Let's go, 10 squat and curl. When you get done with 10, 10 slides. Move stuff out of the way laterally. You're looking for eight on the clock.
First minute done, let's go minute two. Great job. Oh, I know, I know exactly how you feel. I'm with you every single rep. I feel tired too, but I know this circuit and one more, we've got a beautiful, lengthy cool down. So let's work hard. You're gonna love hearing those words. You've made it to your cool down. So let's work for it. Two minutes to go. You're in minute number three right now. Ninety seconds. Good job. Last sixty seconds. Ready, three, two, one minute, go hard. This is your finisher. Remember, I told you, this circuit and the last circuit in the last minute, you go hard. This workout is called full body finisher. So finish each last 60 with 100% effort. Oh, come on. Thirty seconds. Good, come on, thirteen, twelve. Push, push, push. Three. Two, one. You've got a minute rest. Take it, breathe. Give me one more four minute circuit and we're cooling down, okay? No surprises, that's it. You've gotta go hard here. You've gotta earn this long three minute cool down. Not technically, but we're gonna get to the cool down no matter what. I just want you to know, empty out your tank here, okay? Tricep kickback, split squat, and then jumping jacks, okay? Combo move here. Very light dumbbells, holding them in your hands. I'm gonna grab my eight pound dumbbells, four per leg, okay? So you go down, one, down, two, okay? Keep them here, at the top you extend. Four on the left, four on the right, 10 jumping jacks, okay? That's it. Let's go. Three, two, one. Come on, for each leg. Yes, you can do this. Good job. I said for each leg. Next round, if you're already done, five each leg. I meant to say five each leg. So next round, 10 total, five each leg. Sorry about that. 10 jumping jacks. Whew. You just got off with an extra two weights that you didn't have to do, or two reps. <sighs> five each leg, come on. Whew. 
first minute done. Ten jumping jacks. Just catch your breath here, okay? Nice work. Strength, coordination, core control, upper and lower body. Come on. We've got all of it in here. 90 seconds down. Good job. All right. Last two minutes. Breathe. Breathe. Come on. This is me and you for the last one minute and 40 seconds. And then we're done. We're cooling it down but you gotta work hard to make it there together to get the most out of this time because I know your time is valuable. Great job. All right, 10 seconds, you know what's coming. Finisher, the last 60 seconds starts in five. You're 100% right here, last 60, let's go. All out, finish stronger than you started. Good, do not slow down, push harder. Twenty five seconds. Don't stop, don't stop. Five, come on, sprint. Three, two, one, breathe. Hands on your knees. You have made it to your cool down. We've got a nice long cool down intentionally to get this week started. So have a seat, do not leave. All right, come on down, feet together. Don't leave yet. To finish this full workout, you cool your muscles back down. Exhale, soles of your feet together. As you exhale, let your head relax. And just think about the home stretch sprint to finish in this race that you're in, okay? Metaphorically, you've got a little bit more in the tank than you think you've got, okay? Reach that right arm over, touch the opposite side. Sometimes we hold ourselves back or we sabotage ourselves a little bit and saying, this is really hard, I don't know if I can. Switch sides. Or I'm seeing progress, I don't know if I can keep this up, so I'll just go back to old habits and sabotage yourself, right? This is not that time. This is not that version of you. That version of you is the old version of you. You used to do it, but you're not anymore, okay? You're worth more than that. As soon as you get that little glimmer of, I don't know if I can continue, I don't know if I can keep up this regimen, just stop and breathe. Don't leave, don't quit, don't give up. Just stop and breathe, okay? Legs straight out front. A lot of times you've worked up the situation in your head to where you think it's gonna get harder and harder and heavier and heavier. Fold over top of your legs. Stop and breathe. It may get harder, but you also fail to acknowledge the fact that you're getting stronger. Don't forget that. Anytime the journey gets a little tougher, it's because this version of you that's going through this journey is getting stronger. You're getting more experience. 
and you're figuring out how to make it work better along the way. So it's not that it's getting harder, it's that the challenge is rising and so are you. Flip over onto your hands and knees. Shift your hips back. Toes can be either together or just straight behind your hip bones. Reach your hands out front. Look up towards your thumbs and just feel that stretch from your pinky finger all the way back to your lats. Good job, come on up, quadruped position again. Cross that left leg under your body so your spine is here, your shin is perpendicular. And then scoot down over top of it. Don't forget to acknowledge the person that you're becoming along this journey, okay? It probably is shocking to you what just simple dedication and commitment to the small things will bring to you. A little bit more experience, a little bit more confidence, so when the times get tougher or a temptation comes back up, you're just a little more experienced in how do I navigate this. Switch sides, okay? And as you head out today, I'm gonna make you stand up and just roll your shoulders out a little bit before we leave, but I just don't want you to forget to acknowledge the person that you are becoming as you get closer to your goals. It's not that you're the same version of yourself getting closer to a goal and it gets harder. The person that you're becoming along the journey is accomplishing the mission. Okay, you don't just go from beginner to goals crushed. Every single day, you become a stronger version of yourself. And that is a mission accomplished in itself. So don't forget to acknowledge that. Okay, make your way up slowly. Take it back to a plank position. And let's walk your hands back to your feet. Slowly roll up top. And as you get up to the top, push your hips forward gently. This was a tough workout. There's no doubt about it. When you need something one day where you're maybe out of town or you just wanna show up and not think about anything and just work as hard as you can, come back to this workout. And come back to the reminder of you becoming the strongest version of yourself as you get closer to your goals. You're not the same person you were yesterday if you're committed to a goal. And if you're doing these little things along the way that remind you of that, mission accomplished, okay? You get closer, this person gets stronger. You get better equipped to handle the new challenges that will come your way. So don't see progress and then sabotage yourself and say, I'm still this old version of me. There's no way I'll get to my goals. You're not that old version of you anymore. You're becoming exactly who you wanna be. Keep showing up as that person. Keep dedicating yourself. This last week, I need all the effort from you, okay? Keep it coming. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. You comment below. I'm fully committed, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Great job today.